good afternoon out here in Florida. My name is Mark. I'm the founder of knapsack.com. That's N-A-P-S-A-C-K.com. I'm doing one of my travels, so you might hear the, um, I'm on Google Maps, so you might hear the map saying, giving me directions. So I do apologize if it's too loud or, or something. So check out my website, knapsack.com, N-A-P-S-A-C-K.com. It is the alternative to Facebook. I think that I think that you guys will will really enjoy it. It still needs some more growth, some more improvements, but with more people joining, um, it will help me out a lot. I've also created a GoFundMe page where I can use the assistance so that we can make this website stronger and very competitive with Facebook. So that. Um, when, so that this, that you're not shut down for just speaking your mind, as long as it's not racial threats or anything like that. You'll be able to express yourself, your opinions, especially um, on politics, and who you support, and, and be proud to support that candidate. So, and Knapsack will be around for a long time. So, please check it out. Help a brother out. Be more than a uh, more than appreciate it. So thank you very much. So moving forward, I want to talk about Chelsea Handler. At this moment, I don't care if Chelsea Handler slept with 20 different black men. The comment she said on the Jimmy Fallon show, and Jimmy Fallon really just, blah, 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 they didn't do anything about it. They didn't say anything. They didn't say, hey, hey, hey. He just went along with it. It tells you one thing, that Chelsea Handler and a lot of white liberals are very racist. They have a, a, a certain, a certain, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They have, uh, their thoughts, they, they think that black people are just, I guess, I don't know if it's stupid, dumb, I, I, I don't know. I don't even know the word to use. Because she said she dated 50 Cent. And recently, 50 Cent said that he's going to support Trump because he does not want to pay 62% in taxes. And Chelsea Handler said that's false, but it is true. If you follow a Joe Biden plan, he plans on taxing people that make 400000 or better. So anybody who makes more than 400000 or better, they're going to get taxed. There's also going to be tax um, in in New York City. They have to pay state taxes, which which is going up, and city taxes. It adds up to 62 percent. And 50 cents do not want to pay that. 62 percent of your earnings is a lot of money. And he wants to stick with the Trump tax plan. So he said he didn't want to be. He, He's known as 50 Cent. He didn't want to be become 20 Cent. And Chelsea Handler got on the Jimmy Fallon show and had to brag. And, and, and here's the other part. She had to sit there and say, you know my ex-boyfriend, 50 Cent. And she had to say that because she's trying to let black people know, hey, I, I, I'm with you guys. I dated a black man. So what, lady? So, you know, I silly self said that. You know, bragged up that she did date a black man. Whoop de doo. She then said that she had to remind 50 Cent that he is black. And so he, he will not be voting for Trump. And then here's the kicker she said if he'll go on and denounce Trump, she might go another little swing with him. What ignorant comment is that. That's the most ignorant thing I've ever heard. It is It is really sad that she would say something like that. I, I don't even know what to say. It, it baffles me that that would come out of her mouth. That if he denounces Trump and say he's going to vote for Biden, that she might go another swing with him and, you know, you know, give him a little, you know, like, like, you know, yes, I'm a white woman, and if you want some more of this white woman, I might go another swing with you. But first, you need to do this. This is, this is, this is typical 
liberal ideology of black people. And if black people do not wake up, I don't know how to continue arguing about this, but if black people do not continue, if do not wake up and realize that we have been bamboozled, hoodwinked since 196, after the Civil Rights Act of 1964 passed. Black people don't realize that the, the Immigration and Naturalization Act of 1965 was a ploy because blacks were growing in America. They were, they were strong. They were independent during Jim Crow. And as many times as they tried to stop blacks, blacks kept coming back. So in order to minimize that, they, they ended up with the Immigration and Naturalization Act. It was a way to say, for them to say, oh, we just want to bring in people who can help, you know, with, with certain skill set. But it was a way to allow immigrants to come in and compete for those jobs, which then would would break down um, that those opportunities for blacks. This is, this is the truth. Black people don't want to wake up and realize that we've been hoodwinked by the Democrat Party. And it just baffles me that when you try to talk to black people about these things, continue to, to, to call you all type of names, from Uncle Tom to, to Bootlicker and all kind of stupidness. It, 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 it's really sad. So, I don't, I don't even know the words to use for what's going on in, um, with, I don't know, with, 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 um, 50 Cent and Chelsea Handler. And I hope that 50 Cent would, would challenge her on that stupid, stupid comment she said about... Half a mile, turn right onto US 27 North, US 441 North. Sorry about that. That's once again Google. I'm traveling and I need their assistance. So, <laughs> anyway, so, like I said, like I said, I hope 50 Cent would at least take the next ride onto US 27 North, US 441 North. I'm not gonna lie, that dick drives me crazy because as you say something, here they come always interfering. Have you ever listened to music and then it will come on? Continue on US 27 North for four miles. Yeah. Anyway, sorry about that. So I hope that 50 Cent will come out and at least say something. But at least say something so that other blacks can realize that. No, we're we're not we're not followers. We are victims. We are we we've, we've been victors since Jim Crow era. We've been victors. Whenever whenever we were kicked kicked down, we got back up and we made something. We were victors. I don't know how we become victims. I don't know how you know we were second in population here in America. I don't know how we are failing, how they got us to this level. And now we're not, that we, that we don't have more entrepreneurs. I just learned that in America, as many attorneys are here in America, only 5% are blacks. I just learned this. And it baffles me that only 5%, if, if I'm wrong, somebody please send me some documents to show that or something to show that there's more than just 5% of, of black attorneys here in America. Because that would really, that bothers me a lot. So, once again, I hope that 50 Cent would, stand, would, would come out and denounce those comments that Chelsea Handler said. Because as far as I'm concerned, Chelsea Handler is a racist use black people for her own satisfaction and can't see black people for what they really are. We're leaders, we're entrepreneurs, and we can lead a, a country 
the shoes. We can lead the planet. We're not victims, we're victors. And if until we realize our full potential, we'll always be held down by liberals and their ideology. So we need to break free from them. And once we do, we will become exactly what we were supposed to be. So once again, my name is Mark. Yeah, I just wanted to do a little shout out about, um, shout out to 50 Cent about Chelsea Handler. Really not happy with her stupid self. And I hope more black people are waking up to the fact that we are better than this. We are not victims. We are victors. Remember that. Take care, guys. You're here for me soon.